All right, everybody, welcome. This is part two of Dante's Inferno, all items walkthrough. Uh, this is the second chapter, which is Lust. Um, if you didn't see the first chapter, which was Limbo, I will leave a link in the side or down bar, wherever it is now. And uh, that way you can click that and it'll bring you to the first video. I am running through everything to get you all the items you need for all the achievements that you need, um, including Judas coins, relics, Beatrice stones, and damned characters. Um, yeah. So that's what we're doing. Here's a little cutscene for the beginning. Where we leave off is the last part of the last chapter. Uh, we were sliding down the Sas Sasquatch rope. As soon as you're done sliding down that, here is uh, Francesca. You want to save her. If you don't save her, you cannot get your achievement. She is the first half of your achievement. Um, so save her. And our second half will also be in this level as well. Uh, we'll get to him a little later. Once you save her, you're going to... Go down this little path, there's going to be a nice cutscene, and you get to meet uh, Cleopatra for the first time and see her titties bounce. Anyway, once the cutscene's over, you're going to want to go up, and near the statues, there is a bunch of walls. Uh, you usually have to go around the statues. The first wall that we go down, I believe, is the second statue on our left. We're going to go down, we're going to fight the, uh, not fight, but we're going to stick the cross in the gargoyle dog's face. Actually, these gargoyle dogs remind me of, I believe it was Ghostbusters 2, uh, the dog that kept chasing Rick Moranis around. Uh, that was the one with Rick Moranis, Sigourney Weaver, and yeah. Um, don't know if any of you see that, Ghostbusters classic. But yeah, that gives us our first relic for this chapter. Uh, after that, we're going to go to the last statue all the way on the left side. There's going to be another wall right behind it. Uh, we're going to climb down that, and right over here, we're going to stab a fountain, and this is going to give us our next Judas coin, which is our seventh overall. Um, I'm not going to really be keeping count, I just know that's the seventh. Um, Climb back up the wall, and basically from here, once we get back up the wall, directly across will be another statue, uh, directly across on the right. Um, there's nothing actually over there, as you can see. What we want to do is we want to go down, back a little, and there's the wall that we need to climb down. We climb down here, and we see another fountain, in which once we stab that, uh, that'll give us our second Beatrice Stone. I believe there are more than three in the game, but you only need three to get the achievement or the trophy. I don't know how PlayStation works, so when I say achievement, it's probably trophies as well. Oh, sorry for the phone. Uh, anyway, we want to climb back up the wall, and that's about it. Now, this part, here's a little puzzle. Uh, don't forget to talk to Virgil before you click this lever. Um, Virgil's all the way at the end. What you want to do, though, after you're done talking to Virgil is click the lever, and the helmet or skull is going to turn, and it's going to create a hole in the tornado. You need to get up to the tornado as fast as you can before it closes and jump through. Uh, once we jump through, there's a nice little cutscene of Chris Crocker. Uh, that was wrong. My bad. Um, that's definitely a real transsexual. Um, anyway, a couple of those come out, you gotta fight them, then you get this little puzzle thingy, uh, there's fangs on the snake's head, and you cut them off, and then use the lever again, and you jump on top of the tongue, which is coming out of a vagina. Um, and here we go, we need to, there's a little cutscene, and then we're gonna talk to Virgil. This time, Virgil gives us an L relic. As I said before, you want to talk to Virgil every time you see him. There is an achievement for every for talking to him every time you see him. Um, and every time you see him, there will be a right bumper icon or left bumper. I don't know what the right trigger. I don't know what it is on PlayStation. But uh, talk to him a couple times, and right here, he will give you another relic. Um, once you're done talking to him, this part, it's not really tricky, but if you don't do it right... Um, you're going to have to kill yourself and then do it over. It's not really that difficult. Um, what we want to do here is we jump on the big cookie sandwich thing. And we want to grab that statue that's all the way in the back. We grab that statue, we bring it to the middle of the cookie sandwich. From there, if we go back down on our left side, as you can see, I'm running down left side. There's a save point. You can save the game there. That's fine. Um, but here's the lever. You want to pull that lever, and it's going to pick the cookie sandwich up, and considering the statue's there, it's going to block it. If you die any point and you go pick up that lever again, you're probably going to have to kill yourself because the statue does not stay in the middle. Um, from there, we want to jump over up top on the left, and that'll give us our next Judas coin in this level. Jump back over on the cookie sandwich. We're gonna This part we have to do fast. We're going to jump over to the right side. We're going to stab the fountain. The fountain doesn't matter. It doesn't give you anything. But what you want to do is you want to hit this lever... And then jump back over to the cookie sandwich as fast as you can. And that'll bring you up into the next pot. Alright, right here, um, I couldn't show you this pot because Cleopatra's tits were juggling all over the place. 
pretty simple. Uh, what you want to do is she's going to throw three babies out of her tits with tongues. Uh, you want to kill the three babies or whatever. Then guys are going to appear on the right side. You're going to kill those three guys. She throws three more babies. Uh, you're going to kill the three babies. Guys appear on the left side. You're going to kill those three babies, uh, three guys. And then she's going to throw three more babies. You want to keep one alive. And as long as you keep one alive, it'll work very well. Um, and what you're going to do is hit her hand, jump, go to the left side, jump up, hit the lever. The snake's head's going to turn. Then go to the right side, hit her hand, jump up on the lever again, uh, up, and you're going to hit another lever, and that'll set her tits on fire. Uh, what we just passed right there was our second damned character for the achievement. Um, obviously, like I said, save him, you'll get the achievement. Now where we're at right now, um, that was on the left side, uh, right side. After we're done being Cleopatra, you want to run to the right side. After that, you run back to the left. Right there, we passed the climb up the wall, past the save point. We hit our Judas coin. Right after that Judas coin, we go past the save point again. And here's another damned character. And I punish her because I don't have to do any more button sequences. Um, now, we, right as soon as we're done punishing her, you jump down that wall. And here's another gargoyle dog. Um... Ghostbuster thing. And he gives us a relic. Or she. I don't really know what they are. And uh, this is you're right near the end of the level now. Um, this level is actually pretty quick. Um, after that, you're going to fight Anthony. And in order, he's pretty easy. All you got to do is hit him a bunch of times. And Cleopatra will try healing him. When she's healing him, you want to hit her hand. And he can't get healed anymore. Once you kill him, that will give you a relic. And, yeah, then you come to a pretty cool sequence where Cleopatra turns into an eight-story monster into about a four-foot low-budget porn star. And she, she, you go through a nice button sequence and whatever. Uh, next part is part three. I will try and get a link and upload that as soon as I can. Um, hope you enjoyed.